In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a division expression as a fraction and a fraction as a division expression. In the first example, we have the expression 9 divided by 14. The dividend, 9, is going to be the numerator of our fraction, and the divisor, 14, is going to be the denominator. Anytime you divide a whole number by a greater whole number, your answer is going to be a fraction worth less than 1. So 9 divided by 14 is 9 fourteenths. This number cannot be simplified, so 9 fourteenths is the final answer. In the second example, we're given the fraction 5 elevenths that we're going to turn into a division expression. The numerator of the fraction, 5, will be the dividend in the expression, and the denominator, 11, will be the divisor. So 5 elevenths is equal to 5 divided by 11. In the first word problem example, it says that if 16 people share three pizzas, what fraction of a pizza does each person get? We're going to start by writing a division expression, so we have to look at the two numbers in the word problem and decide which of the numbers is being split. It's either 16 people or three pizzas. In this example, we're splitting up three pizzas, so we're going to start by writing the number three in the dividend. And the three pizzas are going to be split amongst 16 people, so we're going to take the three and divide it by 16. So 16 is going to be the divisor. Our division expression is 3 divided by 16, and now we can turn this into a fraction. The dividend 3 will be the numerator of the fraction, and the divisor 16 will be the denominator of the fraction. The fraction 3 16 cannot be simplified or turned into a mixed number, so the final answer is that each person will get 3 16 of a pizza. This answer makes sense because there are fewer pizzas than there are people, which means that each person will get less than one whole pizza. In the second word problem example, Sherry has 14 ounces of beef to make three burgers. If she uses the same amount of beef for each burger, how much beef is used in each burger? Again, we need to determine what we're splitting and how many groups we're splitting it into. So it's either the 14 ounces of beef being split or the three burgers. In this case, we're splitting the beef among the three burgers. So the expression is going to be 14 divided by three. Now we'll rewrite the expression as a fraction. 14 will be the numerator and three will be the denominator for a fraction of 14 thirds. 14 thirds is an improper fraction, so we need to change it to a mixed number. 14 thirds is the same thing as four and two thirds. The fraction cannot be simplified, so the final answer is that each burger will have four and two thirds ounces of beef.